Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Hello Halal Family, welcome to the channel Halal Family is the best family out on YouTube In today's video guys we'll be reacting to a social experiment from uh, Australia This video was uh, suggested by Erwin J on Facebook Thank you very much for taking the time to send me your recommendation and suggestion For those of you who are new and who happen to come across this channel and this video for the first time I'd like to take a moment and welcome you guys to the channel I upload videos every day so if you guys like the content as well as the channel and want to be part of this journey then please consider subscribing to the channel and turn notification on so you're notified when any videos uploaded stay tuned guys we'll be right back welcome back guys we're gonna get started with the video momentarily and at the end of the video i'll be sharing with you my observation and reaction so please make sure you stay until the end with that said we're gonna get started with our second video of the day okay I I went I went to the to China for the show. Thirteen episode last year. It's me. Oh, you watch TV? Have you drunk? I said, Hopefully, Auntie, I would like to talk more to you because I believe that you are very sincere in searching for that and I really hope Allah will guide you and guide all of us. Was that the first time that you did that? Yes. Oh, I see. It's not the first time I've ever prayed, but it's the first time I've ever prayed oh. to Allah in that way. I mean, by the way, my name is Fridos. Oh, yes. Fridos. My name is Alf. Alf. Like Alif, but without the I. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> great, great. In, in fact, just now, when I just talking to one of the auntie sisters there, and then I saw you praying, and I, I personally, seriously, I'm touched. I'm touched with your, with, with your movement, with your actions, that it's quite spontaneous that you go there and you make yeah. the prayer. Well, I never planned to come and pray today. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> it was not on my agenda, but yes. I just, today I feel very open in my heart, yes. and just feel like connecting. Oh, it's, it's and so, Islam come, came to me today. So Do, don't you think that is the faith, that is what God, Allah, make you here today that the two girls come and talk to you and then my colleague talk to you sure. and now we have you, you, you have your there's, first experience there's no coincidence there's no coincidence and this i've never walked on this street before in my life mm. i was going that way and i thought now i'm gonna go this way <laughs> <laughs> i don't know why i decided to go this way but because, allah let me yes because the owner of the heart got you to be here now do, don't you think that this might be the sign that god wants you to know more about islam and initially and become a Muslim. What, what, what do you think about that? Al? I think that God wants me to understand every religion. Yeah. But I don't think He wants me to embrace any of them. I mean, do you have anything that you would like to know or you dislike about Islam that you've heard? Yeah, I have a little thing that troubled me this morning. Yeah. When I was reading the Quran after these two girls left me a book. Yeah. And it, it had a... I only got as maybe 10 pages or so. But yeah, yeah. It was an exclusive. Yeah. It, it was suggesting that there are the chosen ones, yeah. and there are those that, that were not here, yeah. and, and, and they can't be saved. Yeah. That is not consistent with my understanding of okay. God. Yeah. God doesn't choose. Yeah. He doesn't make this one bad and this one good because they read a book and follow these rules. I can't, I can't buy that. Yeah. But every religion I've ever come across says the same thing. Yeah. We are the one and only religion. All the others are inferior, follow this way. And, and that's why I'm not a religious man. Okay. I'm a spiritual man. What, what does the title matter? What does the skin color matter? Whether the hat, not a hat, yeah. prayer mat, no prayer mat. The Quran says skin doesn't matter. Yeah. What matters is in your heart. Yeah. What you believe in, how you practice your life, yeah. how you live your life. Yeah. According to the law that God has already stipulated. He doesn't need us, but like you say, I very agree with you because God says that He doesn't choose people. He doesn't choose you to become, I mean, He, he doesn't say that, okay, because you doesn't submit to me, therefore I don't give you love. No. God still love. It's unconditional. Put it this way. He never He never give us a single bill to charge us for the eyesight that we are enjoying. <laughs> for the ability that to breathe. No, he no, don't charge no, us. No, no. Either you're a believer or not a believer, he don't charge you. Sure. But he just say a simple term. Now, I give you all this thing. Just put it as a very simple term that one day we just wake up and we found ourselves in a hospital. And the doctor told us, someone sent you here because you met an accident. You almost die. Now, as a human, 
what do we have? How do we feel during that time? We want to look for the person who sent us there, right? To show our gratitude to them, to thank them. Same thing. You are spiritual man. Now, all these things, eyesight, how much you're willing to sell to somebody? To just one eyeball? No, it's not for sale. It's not for sale. Even though people offering you 2 billion, 10 billion, you're not going to sell it. And literally, that means you are billionaire. I'm billionaire. All of us, very all of us, all of us. But God never said, okay, now I'm giving you this. Now, two billion. Pay me in cash. No, he don't. Now, how should we thank him? Worship. Worship now. Honor. Yes. Honest, respect, sincerity, respect, and follow what he commanded us. Is God all loving? <laughs> yes. All loving. All loving. If God is all loving, how can he even that one? Even one of us that ignored his message, how, how could he not bring us into his fold and forgive us? That's why God I just can't imagine it. A hell? What is hell? Is hell where you burn forever? I mean, I don't know what hell is, but it doesn't, it's not consistent with an all-loving God that there could be anywhere to send people that don't worship him. Exactly, no problem. That's why I mentioned earlier part that when we accepting the all-loving God, we also need we need to accept all His attributes. That He's all-loving. He is so all mercy. He is so all just. But wrathful. He's just as well. Now, how should we balance that between justice and also loving? You you cannot say because I'm all loving just because you kill him. I, I think it's okay. I mean, I will still put you in heaven. I mean, you, he's praying five times a day. He's submitting to the things, and yeah, yeah, this guy, he didn't do anything. I mean, okay, it's okay. I mean, can you imagine lecturer in 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 the class, everyone doing the same exam, some pass, some fail. Then I will pass all of you. <laughs> then the the, the the students who are very hardworking, he will say, then what is the purpose? I'm staying late to do all the revisions, to do all my assignment, all my thesis, and then after that you're going to pass everyone. There is a there is a concept in the world, in this world as well. We have the concept of reward and punishment. If uh, you are the boss, I believe, because you say you fire someone. <laughs> <laughs> now, in your organization, for sure, you will reward, you will give bonus to those who are performing well. Those who don't perform well, you might don't, you might give them lesser, or you don't give them. You might not deduct their salary. As a good boss, same thing. Reward and punishment. Reward and punishment. A different way. It's a different way. That's why when we say all loving God, we just cannot say this is all loving, but in the end, we neglect, we reject the attribute of justice. Me too, I don't want people to go to hell for it. God, Islam, teach me to love. I'm loving people. That's why today we are organizing this to share with people the message of Islam in order for them to have a clear message about what Islam is all about for them to make their own choice because at the end of the day, I have my answer in front of Allah that God, I have done my best to convey the message and God will not blame me for that. Now you put me in a very difficult personal position. Why? Because now you've given me more time and more information about my questions around Islam than anybody has ever given me before. So now you put me in a very difficult position because I can't plead ignorance anymore. Yes. So, I'm not trying to put you into a difficult situation and I'm not going to force you because in Islam it clearly says La ikraha fidin. There is no compulsions in religion. I could not force you to become Muslim. I can force you physically and verbally to say La ilaha illallah Muhammad Rasulullah which means I bear witness there is no God except Allah and Muhammad is a messenger but deep in your heart you don't believe. You didn't say please be upon him. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for reminding me. God. Now, just follow me. I just go slowly. Okay. Now. La ila. La ila. Ha illallah. Ha illallah. Muhammadu. Muhammadu. Rasulullah. Rasulullah. I bear witness. I bear witness. There is no God. There is no God. Worthy to be worshipped. Worthy to be worshipped. Except Allah. Except Allah. And Prophet so, Muhammad. And Prophet Muhammad. May peace and blessing be upon him. May peace and blessing be upon him. He's the last and final messenger of God. He's the last and final messenger of God. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. 
MashaAllah, that was really, really beautiful. You see, the brother had a lot of questions, right? He came and he said, like, I don't like these, these, these things about uh, Islam, right? Like, how could it be that God is all loving, but at the same time, people get uh, punished and he chooses people. I really, really, really enjoyed and loved the brother's responses because he took it positively. He didn't say, for example, yeah, there's hellfire, people got to burn. He took it um really nicely and gave worldly examples where uh, the brother that was asking questions, he was just stuck. He's like, well, yeah, it makes sense, right? To the point, subhanAllah, that he took uh, shahada. So may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless both of them, keep him on the right path, as well as us. Um, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala guide us uh, all on the right path and continue to keep us on the right path until the day we leave uh, this world so thank you very much guys for suggesting this video it was really really nice i, I enjoyed it and i actually learned a lot of things from the brother that was uh, giving the answers so inshallah if, if i come across anybody ever that has questions i can try to give uh, his uh, example so i enjoyed it uh, thank you very much i hope you guys enjoyed it too if you did please don't forget to like comment share and subscribe and if you like me to react to another video please put in the comment section below as always thank you very much guys for all your love and support i hope you guys have yourself a wonderful day take care of yourself and your family inshallah i'll see you guys in the next video take care and what's it